What up, YouTube? It's January 2018, so I figured I would uh, finally get around to doing my update for Clutch 2 of the 2017 season. Um, it's been put off quite a bit um, between me getting out of active service and going reserves and uh, working full-time at uh, Conley Herps for uh, Anthony LeCompte, which that, that's been a really cool experience so far. I'm learning how to maintain a much larger collection um, from what I'm used to, and also how to run a business in the hobby. So that's been pretty fun. Um, and then of course breeding season uh, starting up around here. It's been keeping me on my toes. So anyway, if you remember the um, the pairing, it was a lesser clown to 100% het clown. Originally there were seven eggs, but uh, three of them candled with uh, little to no veins. So they ended up going bad about mid, uh, right about the midway point. Um, of the four that lasted through incubation, there was um, one that I cut that had um, what appeared to be a dead lesser het clown. And then there was two het clowns and a full clown, visual clown. Of the hets, one of them had a severely kinked uh, cord, umbilical cord. And it, it was so weak from not absorbing yolk that it ended up passing. Um, but the clown also had a twisted umbilical, but I was able to get to it soon enough. I was able to very gently untwist it and set it up in a very small Dixie cup in the incubator. And uh, that actually worked out very well. As you can see, he uh, absorbed his yolk and is doing pretty well. Now the lesser het clowns was interesting. So I decided to give him a couple of days <clears throat> just to see if there was any movement, just, you know, hoping that it was still okay. I didn't want to mess with it too much. I gave it a day or two and then when I when I checked on these other ones I went ahead and cut it open knowing that it, it was you know no long, it was gone. Um, but to my surprise there were three heads. Um, now there were, there were three bodies it, it wasn't that spectacular but still triplets you know I'd, I'd never seen triplets in ball pythons before and I thought well that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what the survival rate is on something like that, but uh, looking at these guys, they were um, pretty much doomed from the start. Um, I don't know if you know, but uh, twins, triplets, they actually share the same uh, yolk. So um, you usually end up, that's why you usually end up with one twin bigger than the other. Um, and in this case, they were also so tightly packed in the egg that one of the babies was damn near flat. So, in this case, I don't think cutting would have really made much of a difference if I'd cut earlier. Um, maybe the most is I could have clipped the, uh, clipped the two smaller ones off of the yolk and maybe saved one. But that's a big maybe. The other one may have still been pretty doomed. Um, so, I don't know. I think it was uh, still kind of a neat experience, though. Big bummer that it didn't actually survive, because that would have been kind of neat for a small breeder to to be able to show something like that, you know. But either way, um, I did get a picture of it. Um, I'll probably post it up on my Facebook again. Uh, I posted it when it originally happened, but what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll attach it to this video and then I'll, I'll put a link at the end. Um, that way if anybody doesn't want to see it, they don't have to worry about me just popping it up here on the video. Um, so anyway, these are unfortunately the only two surviving uh, clutch members. Um, it's another reason why I kind of delayed um, doing this video is because I was kind of disappointed and bummed out in the beginning. Um, it kind of got better though. Uh, another reason why it, it took a while to get this video out is because I need to get a little information. Um, especially because this little girl, as you can see, is not your typical het clown. She's very banded. I mean, look at that, that head stamp. And this is what we saw in the incubator. You see on the sides, how it's all broken up. You don't really see anything connecting until a good way down the body. And that's actually on both sides, if I can get her to show you. That's on both sides. A good bit down the body. And she's all banded and blushed until you get to the tail. 
where it starts breaking up again. So she was kind of neat. Um, she actually looks a lot like the mom. The mom is very bladed and reduced and has a really funky head stamp, but not near this exaggerated. Um, I actually wanted to show her to you guys in this video, but she's cooking up a pretty mean uh, sausage butt over in her tub. So I'm not going to get her out, as entertaining as that might be on camera. Um, I don't want to be exploded on. Um, anyway, so she was pretty cool. Um, she's definitely going to stay back, because I uh, got a hold of Sean Bradley, who, uh, though he's not the originator of the blade, he's the one that named it, so I figure if there's anything going on, he would probably know. Uh, he was able to confirm that my male lesser clown is in fact a blade, and that the mom is almost certainly also blade. Um, so, I mean, there is a possibility that this is actually a super blade heck clown. I'm calling it a blade until I'm able to raise it up and breed it. That's right, she's uh, going to stay here with me until I can figure it out. So she's kind of neat. I'm actually going to put her back because she's a squirrely one. But look at those sides, man. It's insane. And this one here, just a really nice looking clown. Um, I'm not sure about the blade side of it. I mean, I've seen blade clowns vary quite a bit. Um, he's pretty busy on the sides for being, if he is a blade clown. But then again, he's got that wicked head stamp. He's actually got everything I look for in a clown. I like him to have nice, crisp, easy to see head stamp. Full dorsal pattern all the way down, unbroken. Though he does still have more side pattern than I like, but those blushed out little droplets there are kind of neat. So he's just a neat little clown. Um, he's actually available. So if anybody wants a pretty good example of the, uh, of the morph, there you go. He's actually, uh, I have him up on my morph market page if you've uh, not checked that out do it now. Um, this girl is also available. It's my little bamboo female um, produced from my male. I actually did a um, a loan to, uh, to Anthony and this was kind of my, my end of the deal. Which I don't know if you've ever, if you've not seen any of my bamboos before, I like my reduced line of bamboo. So see if I can show you a little bit. She's a little tense. I'll put this guy back. But she's got nice full dorsal, gorgeous highlights all the way down, and a very blushed out pattern down the sides. Reduced a lot like her daddy. So she's pretty nice, but uh. I got too many bamboos as it is, and I've already got my hold back for this year. So she's going to be available as well. So if you're looking for a bamboo or a nice looking clown, you know where to go. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to put a link at the end of my uh, at the end of this video to my Facebook page. Go check it out. Um, if you go to the post for this video, you'll see the either in the comments section or just along with the video. I'll uh, I'll put up a picture of the triplets. Um, so I appreciate y'all um, riding along with me this long, um, even through all the delays and all that. I promise I'm going to try and get videos out more often. I'm going to really try to do a uh, collection video so you guys can see what I'm working with. Got some pretty cool uh, stuff over here. Sorry, I talk like a sailor. I'm still learning to censor myself, so I apologize if I offend anybody, but it happens. Again... It's my female bamboo. Male clown. And female blade possible super blade heck clown. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you 
in however many months it takes me to post another one. Alright, catch you later.